Earth Signs, Taurus, Cappy, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel, everyone, and thank you for being here. Today, we're going to be looking at your person's past and maybe some things that are coming up around their past relationships or things that have that they may have done in their past. So we are looking into things more seriously now. So this may be the person you are currently connected to. Um, so it is intended for Earth Signs. Uh, and also to the cross watches um, this reading can be for you as well so um, we'll see what comes up uh, if you enjoy this content feel free to drop a like um, and also to subscribe to the channel I'd love to have you on board uh, my little youtube family uh, for private readings please feel free to reach out they are subject to availability otherwise let's kick this off Right, let's see what's coming up around this person's past. What do you need to know about their past? Okay, they had a few cards come out. Oh, they fell out actually over here. Okay, we've got Capricorn and Cancer that have come up so far. Okay, this person may have been unfaithful before in their past. We've got Aries and Virgo as well. Three of Swords, the devil tells me this person may have cheated. Okay, or they may have participated in a cheating sort of love triangle before in their past. Two aces, they may have balanced between a double life before or have had several connections um, at the one time. Could have been that they've been cheated on here as well and they sort of had to deal with it. So it may not necessarily be that they've done the cheating, uh, but I do get like deception and unfaithfulness. Uh, okay. Could have been like an addiction as well. The, the devil card can represent an addiction. So this person in the past may have been addicted to sex, drugs, substances, alcohol, a certain toxic behavior, even addicted to a certain person. They've got the past with the moon sitting right next to them here. So they, there's someone here that could be still involved sexually with a past lover. Okay, they might meet up just for pleasure. Could be like a booty call happening here. So watch for the signs. Now, the past has also come up with that six of cups. Okay, so just be careful. They may have someone online here. There may have been some deception. It doesn't mean they're doing it now, but it could indicate in the past they've sort of dabbled in deception or in cheating. Okay, um, so it could be that they still have some lessons to learn about that, or it could be a life they're trying to actively leave behind with the aces. You know, they're trying to put that in their past, but obviously time will tell. But what worries me is that maybe they haven't been honest or they like to keep their options open. Look at that three of pentacles, three of swords, two aces. Um, okay, so it, it, it could, I mean, maybe it's not a physical thing. The online thing could indicate that maybe they meet up or they connect with people virtually. So maybe the, in the past they've sort of maybe not cheated physically, but done more like emotional cheating or they've cheated through like apps or exchanging photos or signing up to like adult content websites or something like that they may have sort of done it, it's sexually linked though but um that might be something that they may have done or they may have been guilty of um in their past um is what i'm seeing so they've got the hermit and I really associate that Hermit with the Three of Swords. I'm getting like a ghosting thing. So I feel like there's someone who's ghosted people in the past. So there's someone who sort of disappeared without a trace, without an explanation when their feelings became messy or they got overwhelmed. It's like they got scared and out of, play, out of a place of fear, um, instead of talking about their emotions and talking about their feelings, uh, instead they sort of just up and left a certain situation. So... It could even be they left someone who had kids or wanted kids with them, um, or there was somehow children involved in that uh, dynamic. That could be very likely. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing in this person's past something to do with their relationship with their mother uh, is coming up. The moon is like the mother. We've got the, the sun, which can be reinterpreted as, as a father energy. So it can be parents as well. So it could indicate that this person has even seen deception come from their parents. Their parents cheated on each other. There could be like a deeply rooted issue with deception that comes not only from within, but also like from their family or from their upbringing. And 
you know, you'd be surprised how like um, conditioning and modeling and behaviors can really affect an individual. So I wouldn't be surprised um, if that's the case. Uh, for some of you, this person may have had a long distance relationship or had like a forbidden relationship in the past. So say if they're like one religion or one culture and they're not allowed to date like other religions or other cultures, um, it could indicate that they have gone to the extent to have an intimate relationship with someone that their family would otherwise or their culture would otherwise deem forbidden. So I feel like they were a bit risk-taking. Um, they may still be quite risk-taking, but I feel like they have indulged in some sort of, this is like that forbidden quality here, right? Um, and they tried to disguise it and like, especially if they, if after they did that, they moved away from their family and they tried to like cut ties with them. Um, it could very well indicate that here as well, because that this three of pentacles is like a church. So it makes me think like cultural values, religious beliefs. And I feel like there's someone that has gone against that. You know, they've transgressed against some sort of belief that they grew up with or some sort of belief they believe they have in their family or in their society. And in some way, I feel like they've gone against that. We do have children here, so it can be something associated with children. Um, like I said, they might have ghosted a person with children. Um, they may have had a child and then sort of abandoned that child in the past. It doesn't mean that that's still the case, especially if you're seeing that this person has a healthy and frequent relationship with their children. And obviously that maybe has changed and improved, which is a good sign. Um, but it could indicate that in the past they've had those complications with, with um, their children or even stepchildren. Um, it could also be, like I said, bringing back to those addictions. I feel like they've had addictions um, that have sort of overcome them. It's led them to break up relationships. So I feel like an addiction in the past has broken up a marriage or a relationship. It could even be more than one. Um, and I feel like they may be they may be healing and learning with the hermit. They may have withdrawn from that abuse or that substance or that addiction um, and they're trying to sort of mend and get themselves better on a new path which would be very good because I feel like in the past it's caused them issues and maybe they don't want that to happen again you know they don't want that they want a new cleaner healthier cycle and that's what they're sort of trying to chase now so if you're seeing those improvements that would be amazing I will wrap it up there, Earth Sign. So thank you everyone so much for being here with me. Um, I know it was a little bit of a more heavier reading, but I do hope it's been helpful. And of course, it's not going to resonate for everyone. So please keep an open mind. Um, I do hope we'll be in touch again very soon, however. So um, take care of yourselves, Earth Signs. Don't forget to drop a like and to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. So thanks everyone and bye.